Three claps, your boy Swain back. Back at it again with Swain Swaggy Sense. I know that y'all have seen that 100 subscriber. Clap it up. subscribers. Clap it up. Clap it up. Well, technically, we're at 104, but yeah, I'm, I'm reaching and inching my way up to try and get to that 200. I think big jumps as far as, you know, trying to start off at such a low number of subscribers than trying to jump to 1,000. It takes time, and it brings... I think it brings that much more to you as a person to see how much work you put in to the point where you have people that want to be on your your video, your your channel. So I appreciate everyone that's following me. I appreciate everything that, you know, all the people that have commented and, you know, the people that have been encouraging me in, in this journey of mine. And, uh, but we about to get into these fragrances. You know, these are three polarizing fresh scents that you can be able to use within this fall because we're still a little bit you know leaning over into the fall still but we're getting into that winter you know the winter that you scrape in that one side of the the driver's side that one side of the windshield to be able to see when you're driving you know if if that's not you that that's me so but without further ado let's get into this let's get to these three polarizing scents i'm gonna break these down So the first fragrance I'm going to be talking to y'all today is going to be from the house of Mont Blanc, and that's going to be Mont Blanc's Legend Spirit. And this is compared to the 2016 Invictus Paco Rabanne, uh, well, 2016's uh, you know Paco Rabanne's Invictus. But this is this this is really really good. This is a very very uh, affordable priced fragrance. Um, you can find these at rack stores. You can also find these online. This is something that can be an everyday wear. This is not too cloying for the uh, the people with sensitive noses. And this is just an overall nice scent. You know, obviously you don't want to smell it on first spray. You want to let it sit. But with this scent, it has that grapefruit, real fruity vibe. It has some cedar in there. It has some lavender in there. And this is just a, a real, real great scent. This is something that I worn like almost more than the, uh, well, I'm lying. I'm about to lie. I will say I was, this, this fragrance right here, as well as the fragrance that I'm gonna talk about later are going to be the ones that I really wore a lot that I know that when I put it on, this is something that I have no doubt in my mind that gives me compliments. This is this is a very, very good scent. With this, this will cut through the cold. This will give you a nice scent bubble. This will give you a nice sea eyes. And there won't be any complaints on terms of, you know, the smell. The smell is great. This lasts on my skin about eight hours. Once again, like I said, it's, a, it's an affordable price. And this this thing right here, it being so affordable and this this good of a smelling scent, you can't beat it. And you have the holidays coming up, so I would definitely put this on someone's Christmas list or on your own Christmas list, you know, to get for a gift. But once again, you know, this is a nice little breakdown of the first scent, which is Mont Blanc's Legend Spirit. And we're gonna get to the next one that's gonna cut through the cold, baby. Let's go. So the next fragrance that I'm about to be talking to y'all about today is from the house of YSL, and that is YSL's Le Parfum. And it's a flanker off of the YSL's EDP, which is the Eau de Parfum. And what I can tell you about this one, just looking at the bottle, just think of this bottle right here and think of the Eau de Parfum bottle. And the difference is this one is just all black, all black everything. The other one has the, the black, um tint going into blue and and things of that you know mixture in, in the in the color in the color scheme this is like I'm, I'm about my business and with this fragrance with this fragrance man boy oh boy it has juniper berry it has lavender it has it has somewhat of this chocolate vibe and that might not there might not be a chocolate um note in this but i think it's just more so like of that 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 juniper berry that is like so prominent in this and it's just so rich and deep and it just works and with this fragrance 
you'll get about eight hours on your skin. This will give you a nice little scent bubble, you know, so people that are around your vicinity, they'll be able to point you out and tell you that you're smelling good because we don't, we don't tell people to go out smelling bad. We will never say that. And if you smell bad, take a shower. Take a shower. Take a shower. But once again, with this fragrance, this can cut through the cold. It's gonna get you a nice little scent bubble. For me, like I do a couple sprays, you know, um, once again, where fresh scents, it's one of those hit or miss things. But with this, it's, it's sweet, but fresh at the same time, but also like has this nice little um, comforting vibe to the scent too like you you know when you're around people people just want to be around you because it's a comforting smell and this is a hundred mil um and uh i appreciate the person who gave this to me shout out to y'all y'all know who y'all are pointing at y'all pointing at y'all but this right here is a uh, a great scent you know everyday driver everyday wear and especially through these uh, times of weather changing you can't go wrong with this scent. Once again, that's why it sells Le Parfum. We're gonna get on to the next one. Let's do it. Now I know before showing this, everyone wants to be different. So when I'm showing this, people are gonna be in their feelings and saying that, you know, that's not a unique scent. That's a scent that everyone is played out. This is a scent that, you know, it doesn't give that character vibe that, that changes your personality or anything like that. But it, at the end of the day, this fragrance, this fragrance is, is that ish. Like this fragrance right here that I'm about to describe and break down to y'all, by all means, you cannot go wrong with this. It is a pleasant smell. It's something that I cut through the cold. It's, some, it's another everyday driver. Also, it's just like, it's a familiar scent, which I'm starting to give y'all clues and hints right now to it. So I'm pretty sure that you know what fragrance I'm about to say. And that fragrance is none other than Dior Sauvage. That boy Johnny Depp, or Jack Sparrow, as people would like to call him, in one of his iconic roles. Would Johnny Depp, he's that, he's that guy. But with this, the atomizer off the bat, I think that honestly, you know, put a, a dent in a lot of the uh, fragrance communities as far as when this first came out because of the pressurized atomizer, giving you a lot, Ooh. Ooh. This thing, it doesn't, it doesn't get old. It gets old, but it doesn't, it doesn't get old. Like, like I said, like a lot of people be hating on this fragrance because it doesn't have any character. This is a fragrance that everyone knows. This is not different. You know, you're not stepping outside the box, but let me tell you something. When you want to just throw something on, but still smell good, Dior survives. When you want to just go to the gym, you want to hang out, or if you got a business meeting, Dior survives. Like, if you just wanna be in the house with your PJs on and chilling, Dior survives. Like, you, you really you really can't go wrong with this. With this, you know, you have that bergamot, you have the ambroxan, you know, you can smell that, you know, very masculine scent. It's a very modern scent too, so it's somewhat in that barbershop feel in a way. Not, not all the way, but somewhat. It has, you know, I believe that la some lavender in there, you know, to, to taint it down just a little bit to make it more smooth. This is just right here, bro. This is a 12 hour scent for me. This one, I cannot go wrong with this. And as much hate and love as this bottle has gotten over the years, you know, it's one of those, it's one of those things where you can't get mad, you can't get mad at them. You can't get mad, as much as you wanna get mad at them, you can't get mad at them. You know, it's just like a person that you don't like, but it's just like the fact on like, they're that person, you can't get mad at them. In some way you can, but in this case, you, you, you can't, you know. And uh, with this, this lasts on me all day, like I was just mentioning, this will cut through the cold. 
Um, you don't need that many sprays, to be honest, on any of these. I would say maybe the uh, Le Parfum, just in case if the sweeter scents and the more fresher scents don't really pop off your skin like that. But other than that, you don't need that much for any of these fragrances. These fragrances are so, so good for the office, as well as, you know, kicking the the butt of this this cold weather that we're about to to uh to, to get and you know and you can find this everywhere this is i this is not gonna go out of stock you know i, I know they have the the new elixir and i'm not too fond of that one please don't don't stone me or anything like that please don't mess but that's you know different strokes for different folks and i think for this one and I smelled the Parfum and the Le Parfum and, uh, or excuse me, the EDP. Like I, I, I smelled them, you know, at the stores, the rack stores that they had them on display. But it's just something about this. Is this something about the EDT, the Eau de Toilet? Is something about this one that you, it's just sitting in the back saying, I know you'll be back. Like I know you'll be back. So those are my three polarizing scents you know fresh scents that you can be able to use through this cold that we're about to get into and you'll be able to wear this every day all three of these you can wear this this can be your any of them can be your signature scent if you want to and uh but don't forget to like and subscribe you know i, I love to hear y'all feedback in terms of what were y'all favorites out of the three also i would like to know um if you have any other suggestions as far as some other polarizing fresh and clean scents that you can be able to recommend to myself and other viewers you know like y'all so i'll catch y'all in the next video stay safe stay blessed i'll catch y'all later